own America. It's your girl, Shannon Ron Shea. Have you registered to vote? Be a vote. Save America. Bitch, bust a move, ho. I was feeling blackity 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 I just thought it was beautiful just to see a mother and her son. Yes. That's that was my thing. You know what? I think you and your mama are like that though. You and your mama would do something like that though. Who? Me and my mama doing that. Yeah. My mama won't even let my dad with me. She probably she probably would, but child, I wouldn't even do something like that with her. We, me and her would be way more way more hood, okay? <laughs> very much so, very much so. But um Barack Obama tweeted to vote by mail. I need to go ahead and sign up and do so. I feel as though this last election was tampered with. And, <laughs> and I have a feeling that he's gonna try to do something this year too. Well, guess what? Either if he fuck with it, he gonna fuck with it. Ain't nothing we gonna be able to do about it. I just don't want to, you know. You go through and do your devote by mail, and then oh, we're sorry, your your ballot got lost in the mail somehow. Well, bitch, you better go find that hoe. That's what I'm saying. With all this technology, we still doing all this old ass. Baby, by mail though, work. bitch, click a button. Stop all that right. shit. Let us log in with some IRS capability, security technology, bank encryption, whatever y'all got out there, and stop playing around, fucking around with America, treating us like we're a third world educated country, like we ain't got running water and toilets in the room with us where we eat and shit and sleep at the same time. We gotta do everything separate. Just combine the shit, stop fucking around with us, give us some real, uh, what's that, like, some hope you know like we're not the dumbest motherfuckers out here on the planet like let us feel like we did something right and we can't even vote we can't even vote <laughs> right now <laughs> that look like that look like i turn that part always bothered me because what? i'd be sitting watching it and i'd be like but if she, if she, if she did, how you, how you gonna kill her? Oh, stupid head. Yeah. Oh, I heard she made a bad mistake. I heard that she divorced him prior to him becoming a billionaire. But she still got 1.7 billion. Wait, she's donated 1.7 billion. She got half his shit. That's how you fuck them. Because I think they live in California. And you know in California, it's after you've been with them for a certain amount of years, you automatically get half day shit. Can I go? I'll go and marry her. I'll eat a little, little tuna tata. Oh, she is worth billions. So she didn't make a mistake. Okay, well, wh whoever told me the story was wrong. I'm so glad that we were able to verify the facts here. On the real B Rose. That's good that she's giving twenty million to HBCUs, though. Do you think that it? Do you think that she's giving genuinely, or do you think that she's giving in the intent to monetize? Um, who cares? It's just a tax write-off. Her net worth is still fifty-eight billion dollars. Damn. Yeah. I go lick her stamp for a year if she give me just, you know. You know what? Really? It don't have to be sexual for me. You know, I would love for her to invite me out for coffee, preferably tea. You Show know, me something out, girl, I would freak. love to just, you know, sit in the presence of someone with that much power. You know, I agree. Just share I'll, your I'll take either or. But you know, I get hood and be like, I get hood and be like, bitch, you did that shit. Oh, you did that shit. You got that money from his asshole. Like, I don't mean to call you whore the bad way. You know, I was meaning it as a term of endearment. So don't take it too hard, girl. But you know, when I say hoe, because you can call me a hoe too. Just don't say black hoe, because then I'm going to take offense to it. But you know. Ball head hoe shit. Oh, giddy be. What do you think the, the colleges are going to be able to do with this money? Because are they going to take some students' loan debt and forgive them? Or are they going to take it and to invest, reinvest inside of the schools? I don't think they'll give it to, I don't think they'll erase some kids' debt. 
I don't think that'll happen. I'm hoping they put it into areas that need it and do not put it into just specifically sports because I feel as though as coming from a, a school that was the only school of music in Mississippi, a lot of our money was taken and given to sports. Yeah, and that's true. I don't, I don't appreciate that because yeah, yeah, most of those people that play football are not going to play professional football. Let's just be honest. You're not going to end up playing professional football. You know, I'm not trying to break your dream or anything, but Everybody, everybody don't get to play professional football, you know. It just not gonna happen. So they took a lot of our money and would give it over to the football teams and the basketball teams and stuff. So I hope they don't do that. I hope they give it, you know, spread it evenly to different departments. Well, I agree. Hopefully they use it in the right manner. But they should, I really feel like they should take that money and not to say that they shouldn't invest anything into the schools, but they should invest in who's already there and have put time in and relieve them of some type of financial stress because that's going to be a lot to take on once you have to leave school and you have to pay all that debt back. Stupid head. You know what? I wish the schools would do with all that money. I wish they would give every single college student a free Apple computer. Oh. And just don't stop fucking around. Technology needs to be like the bare minimum. You know what I mean? I ain't saying you got to give them the 15 inch with the i7 core with the six dual core process. I ain't saying go beast mode on the shit. But uh, a little MacBook Air ain't gonna hurt y'all. A little $800 ain't gonna hurt y'all. And then y'all know that Y'all gonna get a deal if y'all order so many of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, write it off. So that's those are the type of improvements I want to see when I see billionaires dropping dimes on school. I don't see no goddamn knee pads. So would you rather? So hey, would you rather do this? Would you rather them instead of giving it directly to the school, say hey? we're going to pick students to give this money to or do this for the students instead of giving it directly to the school. Because at no, least that so way... what the billionaires secure. are doing is fine because at the end of the day, um, Miss Bezos, Bezos she's not here for all that. She's just trying to make a kind gesture and keep her life going. I feel like the accountability falls on the school. Like, you know, these school systems, it's like all they really want to do is put you in debt. Do they really have your best interest at heart when it comes to you getting a job after that shit is over? They take you to them little old ass classes with them old ass books, all the books heavy as hell. Y'all know y'all can give us ebooks, but y'all won't be on this heavy paper book killing trees bullshit. And we don't have no new technology. Like the technology courses are so outdated. Y'all still teaching bitches how to type in college. What do you mean? Everybody know how to type. My child is five years old and that bitch can type. So why are you just now teaching typing in college as a four level class? Like, I don't think people that's gonna donate want to regulate. They wanna donate. They don't really care who says, where it goes. I ain't gonna say they don't care. I just think that they feel like I done my part. Right. I agree. Yeah. They they're gonna feel like they did their part, especially once they once they front the money shit. You feel like cash is king to be honest. So hey, I paid away. Y'all figure the rest of that shit out. 